But right now, let's just focus on setting it up to play. So we're gonna power it up. So we're gonna grab the power cord right here. Plug it in. We are gonna hook up the USB-C cable to it so the software can be updated and the computer can see it. We're also gonna hook up the HDMI out. So we have power hooked up. We have the um, USB-C cable. Now we're gonna put in the HDMI monitor output. And now we need to hook it up to the ATEM um, Mini Pro, which is what I'm using today coming through the converters and converting the SDI coming out of the HyperDeck into HDMI to go in the back of the ATM Mini Pro. And so you're gonna need two channels. So on the ATM Mini Pro, I use channel three and four, and you're probably gonna use channel three or four as well. And when I use this now with my Extreme, I use channel seven and eight. So we, first of all, we need some SDI cables. So we're going to, take these converters and we are going to do the SDI ins and then we have HDMI out. So we're gonna hook this one up to the first output right here on the back. And then we'll hook up the second one, SDI in right there. Should be able to see that. And then again, this is gonna hook into the back of the HyperDeck into the other channel. Okay, th those are hooked up. Now they're ready to plug in. So we know this is going to go into channel four, and this is gonna go in channel three. So I'm gonna grab the two cables that I have hooked up here already. So here's channel three, and I am gonna plug that into um, channel three right here. And now I'm going to, oh, that came off. Try that, hook that on a little better. So I'm gonna take the other cable right here. And this cable, we're gonna plug into this converter right there. And now all we have to do is power them and we're ready to go. So let's switch sides here. So when I come back, we will have this powered up. Okay, our converters are all powered up. We just need to feed it some internet. So I have a internet plug right here. And so what I would suggest is that you get a switch to plug in your ATM Mini or your ATM Mini Pro, Pro ISO, Extreme, Extreme ISO, and you plug it into the same network and then you can control it from your software and also you can communicate from your ATEMs to your HyperDAC because you now have it plugged into two channels, but you also wanna be able to auto roll and control it and update the firmware and you do that by having on the, and your internet as well as having a USB-C cable hooked up. So let's plug in the ethernet cable. 